Hello and welcome to Paul Outdoors. It's Thursday the 30th of March 2017 and I'm in my little bit of local woodland lying in my hammock chilling out and uh, just enjoying this glorious day and thought I'd take the opportunity to respond to a, uh, a tag, a three knife tag that I've been invited to take part in by Paul's Bushcraft Camping and Survival Cooking. So thank you for that Paul. Um, gonna have to uh, sort of uh, bend the rules a little bit though Paul because I don't own three knives so I can't show you three knives um, I own one knife so what I thought I would do is um, change the tag slightly if that's okay into a three cutting and chopping implement tag so uh, that's what I thought I'd do and the three items that I carry with me um, each and every time I go out uh, while camping and bushcrafting are as follows the uh, the first one is the only knife that I carry uh, the only one that I own and it is the basic Aura stainless steel um, knife that everybody knows uh, very cheap I've had this now for about 12 years and it's bomb proof and it needs to be because I, do, I, I just don't look after knives and uh, tools the way, I, way that I should and in fact that's one of my priorities for this year to um, learn how to do that better and to actually put that um, Put those skills into uh, into practice so I can better look after my uh, my um, cutting tools so um, that's the only knife that I carry and I use this one to uh, produce sparks with my ferrocerium rod I use it to fashion tent and tarp pegs and to do little items of carving now and again and that, that's really it so I just move that one out of the way I've got these items hanging from my uh, tarp utility line as you can see the second item and another really well-known item is the Laco Laplander folding saw. As you can see, another fantastic workhorse. It locks into place. It's a real safe saw to use. Again, I've not looked after this. I've owned this for about uh, 10 to 12 years, the same amount of time as the Mora. And I, I literally just unfold it, use it to um, to cut and saw sort of fairly large diameter size uh, branches and logs when um, sourcing firewood and then I just once, fin once I finish using it just fold it up again and uh, forget about it until I need it again so that's the second item and the third item and probably my fav favourite of the lot is this one I just uh, get it out of its little little sack and this is my double-edged Staffordshire pattern bill hook, which I carry instead of a knife. Sorry, not a knife, a uh, an axe. And uh, it's about the same um, weight as a small axe, but I think it's more versatile. Um, as you can see, it's got two edges. The long curved edge is traditionally used for splitting stems to, um, to sort of bend them into... Uh, into a hedge when hedge laying and to create a uh, stock proof barrier traditionally but I use this edge to clear scrub and brash and small branches when you know trying to clear my way into an area um, and that's also how it's, it, it's used traditionally as well and the shorter straighter edge I use for and this is the edge that I use the most for splitting um, and battening uh, wood for um, for fire making purposes so that's the edge that I use the most and again this is a tool which I haven't really looked after enough so again I need to uh, learn the skills of doing that and put those into practice so that's a priority for me for this year with regard to knives I haven't really got into knives because I know that if I do I'll get obsessive with it um, I do tend to get obsessive with things as can be demonstrated with the amount of stoves that I've got. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm sure in, in the future I'll uh, I'll sort of be tempted by a um, a nice a nice knife. I know that uh, Sandy Wiltshire man Jack Law knives makes some fantastic knives, and um, I have been tempted to uh, contact Sandy uh, in the recent past just to see whether. It's feasible to uh, to have one made for me, but I know he's a very busy man, so maybe in the future I'll uh, I'll go down that road. Um, but until then, I'll stick to my Mora, my uh, Laco Laplander, and my um, my trusty billhook. 
So hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully that's answered the, uh, the tag, tag ad adequately, although I've sort of twisted the rules a little bit. Um, on the three people I would like to, uh, to tag in the free life challenge are... Mark White Explorer, Stuart Scottish Wanderer, and Sam at Hobo Homestead. And gents, if you choose to take up the challenge, please show us your three favourite or most sentimental knives, if indeed you do have three knives to show us. Thank you.